Hello everybody, today we have some little filament LED bulbs here to take a look at. And to be honest, I'm not really sure what the brand is on this. Um, but here's the packaging, LED bulb, 25 watt equivalent, it's 200 lumens at 3000 K. A uh, candelabra base, kind of like an exit sign tubular style of bulb, but not necessarily for that purpose. Uh, it does say compatible with all dimmers, made in China naturally. What is that symbol supposed to mean? It lights up? I certainly hope so. Uh, it looks like this one's in an X shape, and then on the other side they have vertical, so I'm not entirely sure what will be inside. I remember looking at one of these at the ReStore, it did have the vertical versions, but you never know. The other two could be something different. I picked them up mostly because I might need them somewhere in a special application, not necessarily because of their collectability or anything. So inside... We have the bulb itself wrapped up very nicely, actually. Yep, and there's our vertical filament LEDs. And there's like no etch at all on this. There's nothing. There's not anything on the base here. There's not even a skirt. Like um, GE puts a little plastic skirt on their bulbs. So if it's wired backwards, you know you don't touch that by accident and shock yourself. Here they don't even have that safety, so if you have your socket wired backwards, uh, good luck. Yeah, there's like nothing. I wonder, you know, if these have a, a shutter effect when I put my hand underneath it. Now out of curiosity, let's see what we have for these other two. Yep, that's also vertical. It looks like somebody took that one out of its foam and then just shoved it back in there. And this one, I'm sure it's probably going to be a similar story. Yeah, they all have the the vertical filaments. Okay, well let's put it in to our socket here that is wired correctly. And we're at 118 volts. Let's turn it on. Yeah, definitely 3000K. Okay, we're at 1.6 watts. You know, I don't even know if it said a wattage on here. It just said 25 watt. Okay, energy use, 2 watts. But it's in the smallest font you could ever see. Power factor of 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.01 amps. Interesting. Okay, well, let's turn off our lights here. And we'll hold it about 2 feet away from the lux meter. We're getting about 50 lux or so. It does have a nice even distribution. Of course, if you put it this way with one of the filaments in the way of the other, you do get a dark spot. But other than that, it seems to be fine. Yeah, we do have a bit of a shutter effect. This is how I, I can walk into rooms and I could just tell just by moving my hand around that there's like a shutter effect um, with the 60 hertz flicker on these. Like just, just looking at it with nothing moving, you wouldn't notice it. But with something moving underneath it, and you can really notice it with your fingers um that effect now these ge bulbs that i really love don't have that problem but this one most certainly has a bit of that effect going on for sure okay well it says that it's dimmable we don't necessarily have a dimmer but we do have the variac so we can lower the voltage at least which i suppose does make it technically in brightness terms dimmer so here we go 110 100, 90, ooh, we're at 85 and we're getting real dim. <laughs> I'm just moving it ever so slightly and we're decreasing a lot. Can we make it to 80? Okay, there's 80 volts and we're already at like incredibly dim going on here. But you can see the individual LEDs on the filament there with the phosphor coating on top of them. At least they were smart enough to point them two different directions. So you have, you know, a lot of light this way and a lot of light the other way. You know, so it's more even. At least they thought about that. Okay, let's see how far we can go. We're at 80 volts at the moment. And I think that's it. That is about 75 volts and we're already out. So it definitely is dimmable. It's not flickering crazy like it's upset. It's just a very steep drop-off curve of the dimmability. Let's go up to 130. 
It gets ever so slightly brighter, but not too much, and it's withstanding it just fine. Yeah, I mean, not bad for um, 50 cents a piece. Let's go ahead and turn these back on here. I'll turn that off. Yeah, I mean, for a no-name Chinese filament LED bulb, other than the effect of the 60 hertz flicker, like here we're under fluorescent and a decent LED bulb, and I don't have that effect at all. But with this, we definitely do. It would have been neat if we had some of the cross style ones, but these are just fine. Like I say, these are probably going to be used in a utility situation or something like that where you don't necessarily see the bulb. They're perfect for that. Oh, it does say 110 to 130 volts, so of course it would withstand that just fine. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video of these simple tubular, I don't know, maybe they're not like T6, maybe T7, not T8. It looks smaller than a T8. Maybe it is T8. I don't know. T7, T8, something like that. Filament LED bulbs. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.